Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, July 21st to the 22nd Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is actually going to be a new moon reading. So the new moon's energy, uh, the new moon was in Cancer on the 20th, right? So the new moon's energy can last for up to six months. So we're going to ask Spirit, what's up for Aries? For this new moon, what kind of energies can you expect for the next six month Aries? Okay. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you. If you're interested in a private reading, information can be found in the description box below. I also recently uploaded a video. I had a UFO sighting yesterday, yes, on the highway in broad daylight. So if you want to go check that out, feel free. I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. I'm just going to pull a couple cards here from Spirit. What's going on for Aries for this new moon? What's the energy, Spirit? What do they need to know? The Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Aries. We have the Chariots, Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the World card. Okay, so let's get this message from Spirit and see what's up. Okay, take your time when des deciding, Aries, where you're going to devote your time to, they're saying. Don't, okay, now they're saying, haste makes waste, <laughs> okay. There's something they want you, they're wanting you to get started on. Is this um, a project? No, does this have to do with love? This has to do with love, Aries. With this haste makes waste. They're trying to communicate with you, Aries. They're wanting you to trust your intuition at this time. Oh, okay. I'm really feeling your heart chakra there, man. Oh my gosh. Now this is in, wow. This is in Aries, your fourth house of home and family. And that's strong. Oh. Okay. You may be feeling, are they going to, you're going to be feeling your heart chakra during the next six months because I feel like it's going to get upgraded. You're going to have some light codes coming into your heart. All right, so what do you have going on here? All right, Aries, there could be somebody at a distance or something at a distance. You're wanting to go forward in and you're wanting a new cycle. But you're, you're, uh, th th this is what Spirit's talking about because you're, the Seven of Pentacles here, you're being patient, right? You want to plant your seeds somewhere, but you're struggling in your head. You're like arguing with yourself. You're kicking your own ass, Aries. Stop it. All right, so. Let's see what the world has to say. What is the world? What is the world doing here as far as the new moon? Okay. Ten of Swords. You're wanting to start a new cycle. Um, there could be a recent ending that you've had as far as a love relationship. You could have been betrayed. You could have been backstabbed. Clarify this Ten of Swords. 
Yeah, six of cups. This could have been a soulmate from a past life. Okay. So this person who backstabbed you, or energy goes both ways, could have been you, could have been both of you, right? Uh, I feel you want to start a new cycle with them. You want to let this go. You want to move forward. You're trying to balance yourself. You have a connect connection to spirit here, Aries, that you need to pay attention to with two sevens, right? All right, clarify this chariot, please. Clarify this chariot. Clarify this chariot. Clarify this chariot. Eight of Cups. You may need to walk away from something, somebody. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it may be... Hmm. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Is this what... Is this what they're walking away from? Ah, okay. A, a broken heart. So, oh my God. Okay, Aries. You're walking away from somebody that broke your heart. But you're moving towards somebody who broke your heart. <laughs> so, both people broke your heart. But I feel this soulmate from a past life is, is the one that you want to make amends with. So I feel like you're going within. But this is where that haste makes waste. Okay? Now, Spirit's not saying don't go within. But you can't spend forever in hermit mode, right? So let's... Why is uh, Aries so conflicted? Page of Wands. You're looking for that optimism you're waiting again we have waiting we have patience you're hoping your ships are going to come in okay king of swords you know you need to cut something out of your life here we have distance again okay you're needing strength and here we have waiting again this is that haste makes waste okay you you need to move on this area spirits wanting you to move you you can't remain stuck okay you're you're being you're stuck seven of pentacles is clarified by the devil card this is the card of capricorn you may have invested in um somebody that didn't pay off it could have been a capricorn clarify this capricorn or you invested too much time in unhealthy patterns of behavior this could have been addictions drinking sex codependency another seven seven of cups yeah confusion you're confusing yourself you're waiting page of pentacles it's like you're waiting for an opportunity right to express your love here to begin again but you're not doing anything you have a lot of love here there may be three people involved here and you know that you have to cut somebody out in order to go forward, right, to this soulmate. So let's get some um, advice. Advice for Aries regarding this new moon in the upcoming six months here. You need to let go of shit. We have that 10 here and we also have it in the 10 of wands, right? It's a burden, Aries. You need to let that shit go. Page of Cups, that's an apology. And the Ace of Swords, okay? So there may be somebody you need to apologize for. This is advice, or two, sorry. Um, or this could just be simply a love offer, okay? But this is, I'm feeling more of an apology because this is clarity and truth. It's like you're bringing them truth. It could be involving a third party situation here with that three of cups. What is this truth that you're advising them to tell in this page of cups? Can you be more specific? Can you be specific, Bob? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, and Knight of Wands, yeah. This is player tendencies. This is 
you know, singlehood. I feel like there's some truth that you're bringing to them regarding um, player tendencies, maybe. What happened when you were single, separated? I don't know. You're going to know that. I feel that for all of you, it's a little bit different, this, this apology. It doesn't have to be a third party for everybody, but... Um, it's some sort of truth that you're bringing them. One more card. King of Wands. Yeah. Spirit saying, keep your eye on the prize here. Okay? And, and movement. Wands are movement. They're wanting you to move towards this. All right? That's the upcoming six months for you. And the sun at the bottom of the deck. This is saying, be emotionally vulnerable. Do not be afraid to do so. Leo energy, okay? Break down these walls. Open your heart and let this sunshine in. All right, Aries, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information can be found in the description box below. It's my Etsy shop. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have a good one, Aries, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.